forgot I had a pimple patch here. I'm using this one from Welly. Isn't it cute? It comes looking like a band-aid. Fit check. All at once in a dream We are together You could call it a vision But this is kind of convincing me to get fake plants for my bedroom. That is really cute. How about for that price tag? Uh, I don't know about the price tag. Bye. The strawberry was mad. Let's get this then. it as like a meeting room? What? I haven't been to this corner before. This is actually really cute. <laughs> what hall do you have in there? What do you have in there, miss? Oh, I have, um, oh, I can't open it. But I got some lettuce, cabbage, and some jalapenos, a cucumber. There's a cucumber in here. That's my haul for the day. That's my pickings for my harvest, for my garden. <laughs> this is my garden. It's on the wall. Space sufficient. Is this for the millennials who don't have their acres and acres of land? Yeah, I think so. I'm so sorry. Pressing a tissue paper mm -hmm. with all my might and force on a tortilla press. Mm -hmm. Dinner served. <laughs> Lately, creative inspirations have been getting harder and harder to come by for me as I've been feeling more and more overwhelmed. I've been finding myself filling in so many different roles that sometimes it feels like I'm just surviving instead of conquering. As I'm trying to navigate this growing pain and find a balance that works for me, I've been trying out multiple things to deal with it because I could see the possibility of a burnout within the horizon. Sometimes on my gloom days, I go to IKEA whether it's to see if they release new designs, find inspiration, or just to see some nicely decorated rooms which makes my heart smile. And other times to eat a slice of chocolate cake by the tall windows while looking out to the 5 freeway. Usually by the end of the day, I walk out feeling physically tired but mentally recharged along with some purchases. While I would love to do this more often, I try to reserve it for the low days. That's so cute. Oh, it doesn't open? No, it doesn't open. Mm -hmm. I don't even know these cute if it opens. Everything's a tripod to you, isn't it? <laughs> That's the idea. Made my lingonberry a tripod. I just wanted to do. <laughs> is that what we're getting? Is that it? Or so far? Okay. Do we need anything more? I don't know. What is this? What is that? Dish What? 
fish pot, okay. That's interesting. This is cute, I would like this. It's very fall. I like the dragon fruit one. Dragon fruit with the kiwi and lime and lemon. Mm. That's crazy. This used to be $20. I bought mine when it was like $20. Why am I so tired? Because we're old. You're getting old. <laughs> it's okay. Dude, why does this cost so much? Can you get this? You want to go down? The escalator? I see what you mean. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like going down on this. Yeah, I want to get off. <laughs> Oh, did I? Yeah. Mm, okay. Now that we have the ingredients, we're gonna make a charcuterie board. I'm so excited. I've been wanting a good charcuterie board in for a while. We got some like really fun cheese. What's so hard when the sun is directly in my eyes? I forgot to bring a knife. I'm gonna go right in. Maybe I should do the crackers first. Yeah, the crackers first. Okay, can cranberry crisp. I'm excited to try this out. We got some pita bite crackers. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, it smells wonderful. But I'm not much of a salami person, so probably won't be eating much of this. It smells good though. Some over here, some over here. Ooh, it's starting to come together. 
What's a charcuterie board without some fruits? These are some melons. I want to cut these up beforehand already because I didn't want to waste time because that will mean that I'll be fighting against the elements and the bugs that are outside. So cutting time there. Wah, mosquitoes. We got some plums. These are some pretty good plums. All right, and then I got some Concord grapes. This season, these Concord grapes are like candy. They're so good. They're like one of my favorite grapes to eat. I know a lot of people don't like them because of the hassle of eating them, but I don't know. I think Koreans generally really like them because they taste so good. The flies are starting to come in. I basically just need to fend them off until my sister is here because we were gonna have this charcuterie board together. We were planning this for a while and it's finally happening and some flies are not gonna ruin it. Okay, some flies are probably ruining it. Okay, it's okay. I think I'm gonna do the cheese on here. Flies are really coming in. <laughs> this is so bad. Where is my sister? Where is she? She needs to come here and eat this with me. Oh yeah, this is like some of the fancy cheeses that we got. Cause we never tried this, so. Ooh, it smells pretty good though because it's like super soft cheese, it's really, really messy. This is Stilton cheese with some blueberry in there. It was like a dessert cheese. I got to try the cranberry version of it and it was so good. So we bought like a whole thing. Minus the flies, I think it's worth doing this outside, kind of like a picnic. I'm gonna add some prosciutto to the board. I think the first time I had prosciutto when I was like in college, it was like another one of these like charcuterie night boards with wine and it blew my mind how much I liked it. Ooh, you got the fancy glasses, ooh. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think that's good, that's uh, okay. Thank you. So this is the blood orange soda from Trader Joe's. Mmm, it was really good. Strawberry one? Same. Things like that, yeah. I think this one's actually better. Yeah. 